let's shift gears now to really where the, one of the growth opportunities is for um, precision growing. You know, as growers now have ads, they need to hit specific market windows. They need to be on time all the time. Photo period manipulation of photo period control is going to be progressively more critical. With the, the introduction of more and more um, perennials that we can um, flower in the spring when the customers are there to buy them, um, it's going to be more important to understand how can we use photo period to generate additional sales. And also, if we need sales in the um, July, August period, we need product in the stores, how can we manipulate the photo periods to produce the plant um, on schedule when we need it and not just when nature and God decided it should bloom. Echinacea, poster child, but you can also basically look at some of your other um, composites, Gallardia, Rudbeckia also do this. Um, so this we're just gonna talk about is that if you have short days, less than 12 hours, notice it's vegetative and it basically doesn't have um, any flower because it is a long day plant. So we can use photo period to control the vegetative growth, but you also have to be careful that if you use a night interruption, notice that you end up with a stick in the pot, um, one single flower, one single stem, not very commercially acceptable in this day and age. So basically you can use photo period to manipulate the shoot and root ratios and also improve basal branching because anyone that has grown echinacea as short day, then move them to the natural long days of summer, knows that they branch prolifically compared to that plant that they stuck and grew under long days, which was stick in the pot. So you can really use this trick of photo period to really give you a higher value product for a relatively limited um, input. So you've really, to keep in mind, let's keep thinking that summer flowering plants are long day plants. So if you have problems where your plants are just, you know, your spring flowering stuff is all just sticking a pot, what should you be doing? You should probably be using some short days <coughs> to induce basal branching and delay flowering. That was my whole PhD was, how do I delay flowering incarnations to get increasing yield? We could triple the yield by manipulating the photo period because we had more branches. If you have fall flowering, those are short day induced flowers. So that short days will trigger the flowering. So therefore you wanna use long days to keep them vegetative and get bulk on them. And so that you can then go to the short days. Celosia being a, one of the poster children. If you have spring flowering, you need this bulking. And that's what we do with Echinacea. And we, of course, we've got information on how do you bulk plants? What's the best bulking um, method? Are they obligate or facultative? And this is all pointy head information, but working with your partners, you can basically get the information that you need. 